Hey there friends at home and around the world, welcome back to my home. Today I'm just going to bring you through a quick clean with me. We have been very very busy and so this is what the house has become. Uh, we've been busy slaughtering and whenever I'm not doing that I've been trying to get out into the bush to hunt some deer so it has been very very busy and the house has been somewhat neglected so that is hopefully going to change today. It will change, I promise. You'll see it. <laughs> it's going to change. So I'm going to start off here. This is just going to be a quick kitchen clean with me and some regular chores like the eggs and whatever. So yes, I hope you are going to be filled with a lot of inspiration and because I don't want that inspiration to wear out, I'm going to try to keep this video very quick. So of course the dishwasher is full of clean stuff, it's not as frustrating as full of dirty stuff and never run, <laughs> so it's full of clean stuff and just needs to be emptied out. Kids are all busy doing schoolwork as that has been neglected for the last few days as well with all the busyness and so it's time to get back on track with that as well. So I've cut out I think all but one of the times where I was continually running back and forth to help them with their schoolwork, which is why I try very hard not to get anything going, not even to get into any cleaning like this because I want to be fully available to them when they need me for school and I find my patient runs thin very quickly if I'm trying to do something else as well. So whatever I choose to do, I can't have a big to-do list for myself or an agenda. I need to be able to stay calm. So anyways, that's just me. That's what's going on here today. This blue silicone funnel is a new product that we were trying out. Uh, we were not sponsored, we just decided to try out a few products and honestly, I mean it's nice how it folds right down and it's nice to have a backup if I really really need it, but it doesn't work that great. It very quickly creates an airlock and then unless I pinch near the bottom of the funnel, like where it starts getting really small it does not drain well at all or funnel well at all. Like I said, it just gets an airlock. So that's been kind of frustrating, but it is nice to have a backup, which, you know, even though it's not great, it's better than nothing. strainer that I just put on top of those big almost two liter jars we have gotten into making kombucha so spoiler alert video coming up on that somewhere in the future but yes we have found a few ways to make it that we really really like it most of us four out of six of us really like it in fact the kids love it all even more than me and it it makes a healthy juice for them to drink and I feel better about that too. Instead of them just drinking a whole pile of sugar, this has good probiotics and good bacteria in there for them. So I feel better too if they're drinking a lot. again soon that's why it's staying there now this is a barbecue set that mark has ordered off of Amazon I believe and we're always looking for a better stronger barbecue brush so if you look behind me there by that honey pail that we use as an egg pail there is a barbecue brush and a spare bristle part but it also came with all this other stuff, skewers and a little utility thing there with corkscrew and knives and little tools, flippers, forks, this little salt and pepper set, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with because I really didn't need another salt and pepper set, but there have been other parts of it that were really 
that have become really, really handy, like that digital thermometer that's sitting beside the sink waiting to just be sanitized. It also came with these straws that I was just putting into the cutlery rack. Two of them are straight stainless steel and the other two are curved. So the kids are really liking those. It came with so much stuff and it was only 60 bucks Canadian. So I, you know, I don't know what the thoughts are of everybody else, but I thought that was pretty impressive for everything that we got. We have paid not more than that, but we've paid a pretty good chunk just for a good barbecue brush in the past. And so to get all of this yet, oh, and I forgot it also came with a basting brush for the barbecue and tongs. Yeah, so I'm impressed with everything that we've gotten in that set and I'm excited to see how it works. I have found out already that the little picnic fork and knife that came with it, um, the fork is fine, but the knife does not work very well at all. It works to push food onto your fork, but it's not great <laughs> as a knife, you know, <laughs> like it's not going to cut your steak. I tried to just cut an onion and it did not do well at all. But I'm very excited for everything else that is in the set. I need to get onto these eggs and get them cleaned. We don't always wash all our eggs and sometimes it depends on the day, sometimes it depends on how dirty they are. Some days I just wash them all because most of them are dirty and I don't feel like taking the time to sort through them. Other days it's quicker to sort through them and only have to wash two or three. It depends on how they're looking in the pail. If most of them look dirty, I usually just end up washing all of them. But anyways, that is a job that we have every day here, often twice a day, and it doesn't take super long. It just has to be done. That pail that we're using for collecting eggs, it is looking pretty nasty already, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to wash that inside, and I chose not to. I told the kids that the next time they go outside, they should just go open up the tap on the house and give it a quick rinse outside so all the junk can go outside onto the ground and not down my drains. So right about now I am feeling way more on top of this what was a very messy kitchen and it's starting to feel a lot better. It was just wow it felt like it was such a mess everything was everywhere and this is looking so much better already. You can see the uno cards there uh, sometimes we'll take a break from school and we'll do something fun like that instead because I strongly believe that kids learn a lot from playing games as well. Depending on the game, they'll learn math, they can learn good sportsmanship, um, speed skills, all kinds of stuff. And so I think it's a good way to teach a lot of character traits, but it's fun as well. You know, learning to be a good winner and a good loser. And then it also makes the math more fun when you've got to add up your points. And so we've been playing Slip Uno, which is a very rousing, exciting game. So here's something I'm getting ready to experiment with. Whenever I'm frying bacon, I'm keeping all this bacon grease or fat. And I've heard and read in the past that that is what pioneers used to make their soap because they didn't always have lard on hand. A lot of pioneers were moving across the states or across Canada and they didn't have pigs, you know, they couldn't take those pigs with them in the covered wagons and the pigs couldn't travel that far and so a lot of the times they didn't have pigs that they could slaughter and get lard from and everything and they couldn't carry that with them all the time either and so I've heard and read that they used bacon grease. And I figure, you know, what's the worst that's going to happen? My soap isn't going to turn out 
I'm not concerned. That's a very small loss for learning something new and for teaching my kids that sometimes the best way to learn is just to try. Now that we know how soap should turn out and we've made soap for a couple of years, I'm okay with possibly having a failure. In my opinion, that happens with cooking too. If you're not ever going to try something new or push yourself, you're not going to learn anything new either. So that's just my take on it. Hopefully that encourages you to try something new, but that is my goal to just keep learning. All right, and last but not least, I'm going to quickly get this oven polished up here. I am just using straight up baking soda. That is what I've been using to clean my oven for the last couple years. This oven is over 14 years old now already, and so it does have some wear and tear that just never comes off. But a lot of these spots should come off. I do find, and it's not just the baking soda with this either. Um, I've experienced this with commercial cleaners too, but I do find that after I'm finished cleaning the oven, I will give it a good wipe twice with my dishcloth because there always seems to be a little residue that stays and as the dishcloth gets full of the baking soda after wiping once, it can't hold enough to continue to clean and so I give it a second wipe just because I don't want to turn the oven on and I don't know, risk baking baking soda onto my elements. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a quick little shot of motivation here so that you can now get on with your day. I don't want to suck you into YouTube and get you stuck here. So please have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye everyone. Bye.